Greetings, friends, and welcome back to the Darkest Estate. This is Darkest Dungeon. I'm Flop, and this is the morning of December 22nd, the winter solstice, and later on today at 2 p.m. Eastern, we are going to be starting a live stream for five to six hours at least of Darkest Dungeon content, continuing this very playthrough, of which we are about to do a mission. <clears throat> So, please tune in for that uh, and join us. Uh, Levy and myself are going to be uh, commentating on and off all day. Uh, I'll probably be playing. There will probably be slight breaks, but uh, you can expect mostly uh, just a marathon of Darkest Dungeon. So, um, we uh, have taken care of a lot of people here. Uh, the sanitarium is full uh, and we have three new recruits uh, a crusader an arbalist a plague doctor and I think we need uh, I really want to level them up and I was thinking about taking them on this quest. 100% uh, of room battles, I'm sure that's fine. We got a back rank fighter, a front rank fighter, a nice support. Um, someone to go in the middle would be kind of excellent. Uh, and of course we'll be gaining three XP, I think. How much did he get? Maybe just two. Uh, Bernays might do well. Uh, we don't have much health restoring. Pantol might be able to shepherd them in. We are two health down. Let's send her. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you know. What skills does he have? He doesn't have Holy Lance. So he needs to be in the front. Okay, that's fine. We'll take... Yes. I think this is a solid crew of toughness, damage, restoration, and support. And we will tackle this mission with Lisieux, Berniers, Bray, and Palmera. I think we're gonna rock it. Yeah. Okay, so trinkets are good. Let's trinket out these peeps. Holy Orders, an exceptionally good item. Tough Ring. Uh, this obviously benefits whoever has the most hit points. Um, also, it reduces damage dealt. Um, so it's probably best used on, say, our Crusader with his moderate damage. Uh, or, of course, anyone who defends. Uh, if they're going to take a blow in someone else's place, this might just be what we need. Do we have stun? We do not have stun. Okay. 
accuracy important. Surprise, very bad. Palmera could actually use the protection the most. Uh, won't benefit from too much of the healing, but will just make for a very tough Plague Doctor. Damage, not really its thing. So we're mitigating the penalties more than emphasizing the bonuses. Um, although, let's put accuracy on her. Dodge. We do have the Yawp here. So we can up our stun chance by 20%. Hmm. Yes, all right, so this looks good. Let's hop to it. Um, it's just a short quest. There'll be no resting, um, so camping skills don't matter too much, which is fine, because we don't actually have any of the uber camping skills. So let's make it happen. Uh, the Warrior's Bracer, not a bad pickup. Uh, minus four dodge, plus 15% damage is pretty good. Uh, probably excellent on a leper. Enemies, uh, People with a lot of self-restore, um, probably pretty sick on Theon, the Abomination. But let's jump in. Skirmish, complete 100% of rune battles. And so we will. 18 food is our max. Uh, we don't have a designated healer, but I think I can get by with 12. We'll take four torches, as is my want. This is in the wield. we're going kind of cheap on this one. I wish it told you how much you're spending. And I wish it told you what quest type you were going on. Let's see if we can get by with this. So I was telling Lethe earlier, uh, who just they got into his own darkest dungeon. down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Seven rooms. Uh, okay, we brought kind of minimalist. Four torches is my go-to, but as I was telling Lethe, if you have people who are highly resistant, especially plague doctors, um, to blight and or bleed, they can kind of stick their hands into any curios you walk into without too much issue. Sanity checking my positioning so I don't get screwed on the first fight. And off into the dungeon we go. Let's see, can't you do something with these? I'll try a torch. Nope. Holy water, perhaps? Ah, uh, okay. Mm, that was definitely a good trade, monetarily. Yes, come and get some. Mm, we should have upgraded uh, Bernier's. Oh, they're really all about it, huh? Well, let's take care of that bleeding. That'll save us three points of damage. This is basically a four point heal. Um, we could stress heal torch. We could mark. Oh, that marks himself. I see. 
just bump our torch up. He heals himself. Lots of stress taken away. Let's hack all these guys. Crit does not hurt one bit. Maybe we can pick her off with the snipe. Their formation Excellent. is broken. Maintain the offensive. A little old god rending up in here. We bleed again. But everything is fine. She resists the bleed. She can cure the bleed herself. So it's not such a big deal. We did hack. Let's try and take that one out. Not enough. Press this advantage. Let's take that one out. Give them He's no already quarter. acted. Last stress heal, plus we're building up our torch. And I just hoped we would get to go first. Maybe, come on, one more person before that thing. Yes. We could hack. We don't want to impose any more penalties. As the fiend falls, we have to. Plus, it's more likely to crit, just like that. Some goodies come our way. Oh, trap, but we dodged it. Okay, nothing bad here. Maybe if I'd had my torch light up, I would have gotten a scout. Remember, scouting is the only way to find traps. Whew. Guess it didn't matter. That's nice. That reveals two traps to us. Major boon. Uh, but not traps right here, huh? Good to know. Well, if we could just get into a fight, we might end that poison prematurely. Note that if, you, if your pack is not stuffed full of goods, you can take these jade and citrine. Um, Do it again. On these really short missions, it's really just best to go for this. Um, if we don't use that key, then this was a waste. We did bring two keys, which might be a bit much. But let's look at traps. Hellion is our best trapper and not all that good. Carelessness will find no clemency in this uh, place. We'll be able to cure her. Oops, and I forgot to use my torch. But we surprised him anyway. Let's go ahead and keep the light low. I think we got this. Line these two. If you start off with a stun, it kind of prolongs the fight, giving you more time to say use healing abilities. Four to seven damage. Each of these guys has seven hit points. Um, let's do it. Debuff is bad. Confidence surges as the enemy All right. crumbles. Two enemies. Actions prevented. Uh, three. They're stunned, clear marked. Can snipe one of these. Hmm. Let's bandage her. Definitely gonna heal her with our plague doctor. He can put on his protection. Continue the onslaught. Mm -hmm. 
no matter how Destroy. bad that damage Damn. killing is, it's still going to be enough to kill spiders in a couple hits. No, not my squishy plague doctor. She only has bandages on people in front of her. Interesting. Finish these guys off, leaving a lot of little blight, but that's not too bad. Success so clearly in view. I do have a key or here. Is it it's merely a trick of the light? Since we've already scouted, let's leave the light low so as to squeeze extra loot from these containers. Our dodge is zero, so if you have terrible trap, dodge might be what you go for, or whoever has stress heal. Oh, but we lucked out. Our 30% chance worked, and we get rid of some stress. Hmm, a cart of human remains, feeding trough, disgusting. Let's try medicinal herbs. Making some of the meat edible, yay! All right, now we have no, we have lots of food. Let's just um, cannibalize the people, right? We still got 12 in the bank. Nothing here, huh? Let's continue in the dark, we're doing fine. The darkness holds much worse than we are Come dreaming. darkness, give me your best. Stun. This guy has almost no stun resistance. Let's prevent that, and then let's snipe him if we can. We'll see if they're attracted to marked targets or not. With 25% damage, he still gets the crap beat out of him. 14.5% chance to crit's pretty good, thanks to the darkness, of course. 2% from the darkness. 4 to 7. And we prevent that guy's AoE stress, which is definitely what we wanted. Let's just clear that light. If you're not carrying light, it's a kind of inefficient heal, but if you are, it is an excellent heal. Get off me, bro. The Hellion does the damage. 30% move skill chance, 20% resistance. Low and driven into the mud. Interesting pile of things to have here. Here goes our one shovel. And now, Let's hope it's the, the only one we need. Holds dominion. Black as death. All right, not bad. 500 loot, four quests, and a torch. There's at least one more room fight. Oh, this could be it, um, as our quest is not yet over. Look where it hurts, that sucks. Hopefully this wears off. We could cure that, but it's only one damage. We're much better off stunning or plaguing in the back. Um, let's stun. on the one with the least protection, or we can just deal damage to everyone. Let's focus this guy down. Okay, he's gonna mark. There's a slice likely to cause bleed. That's pretty good bleed damage. Let's protect. Pressing fire. Power. We 
do cause that minus five accuracy, minus five crit chance to these two. Let's clear that light bleed as that prevents four damage. Stress isn't too bad. I mean, no one likes it, of course, but... Ouch. Thankfully, we opted for protect. Let's make sure the healings work. Good, good. A little bit of damage, a little bit of death. Uh, we're gonna go stress and heal on him. This will raise our torchlight, which is kind of unfortunate, but. Remember, we're getting a healing bonus, so that was actually quite a bit of healing. A dizzying Ouch. blow to body Another and crit. Brain. Doesn't make any tactical difference to us, but the stun is bad news. Stress is really ratcheting up here. Okay, let's put some damage on all these guys. That one in particular. He's gonna keep pumping himself up. Play grenade might be what we need to finish these guys off. Sadly, it does not take out the same one. Mortality clarified in a single stress. strike. Breakthrough should do it though. Come now, all right. Death, At least that one died. He's gonna keep himself in the fight. Alright, someone's gotta pick that thing off. Try and get the Crusader back up. Slowly. Let's actually just stun this dude. To buy ourselves some time. Excellent. Some crits of our own is just what we needed. It's gonna be a little restorative. him up. Oh, come on. It was your turn to kill. Did I not? Okay, we caused ourselves some stress there with the unfortunate uh, taking too long mechanic. But we buy ourselves some healing as well. Be wary. That ends the quest, but we still have a room to go. A dizzying fall. Let's save for food. And see where everything leads us. What can we do here? Food scraps around. Go for it. Some of that dinner, yo. Let's go one more step. How bad could it be? Oh, gross. Lots of stress coming out here. This is gonna break our plague doctor. 
Ah, but she becomes vigorous. Very vigorous, Father. Hope and resilience. Sorry, too much Mask of Zoro. Her stress resist is real. Warren's adventurer. A devastating blow. Now we can rock them from here. Our Plague Doctor being out in front doesn't matter so much. And again, he can shuffle into the back too. These guys on their own are a little weak. They double up on her, we will have a problem. A powerful blow. Uh, but we can put him down, score some sweet stress heal. A Excellent. Trifling 600 victory. cash, two deeds, and a torch. But a victory nonetheless. Deeds starting to get harder to acquire. Before we go through this last door, we might as well eat some food. Because we won't have to travel anymore, and traveling is what causes you to have to eat. Of course, it's not a room fight because we already had all those, so looks like we're done here. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. We took some serious stress damage, but these are new adventurers, so that's not totally unexpected. The adventurers themselves are free, but that first quest often costs us a thousand or more in stress relief in therapy. There we go. So, Bernice does hit level 2 exactly, which is perfect. Anemic. Unerring. Mm. Okay. Ruins Explorer is good. Evasive, I'll take that. Uh, anemic, not terribly good. I suppose that could be from losing all that blood. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. And I like that animation here of the healing. All right, Neville's no longer irrational and heal. Flagellation, no longer selfish. Wasting sickness removed. Fear of mankind removed. Leveling up. All very successful <clears throat> and a decent haul. We're saving up 26, and that'll be a while. Um, what about busts? Talk to me. Increased chance of curing other diseases. We can't afford the multiple cells just yet, so I'm not too stressed out about it. I prefer upgrading over here. Well, I don't know, it's tough. Who is available? Bounty hunters are quite good. Stress eater sucks. That's pretty good. Mm. This guy comes with my favorite Crusader skill. No, he has a very accurate AoE, which is really pretty good. That is his only range skill. Would be interested in picking up Pierpont. 
Hmm. We could go for it. This time our roster, we would gain three people. And people are free. So yes. yes actually, Word is traveling. Let's grab him. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. In this last we upgrade, can use this. we gained four new heroes. Um, that is where our deeds take us. What's here? Very nice. What to get rid of? Lazy eye. Can't let that stick. is mostly under control. Theon, send him out. Do we now have three Crusaders? Indeed we do. That might be a bit much. We'll see. I do love Crusaders. Okay, Medical Ward. What mission are we going to tackle when we begin the live stream? All right. Warrens has advanced to the point that we can attack the Swine Prince should we feel it. Spiked Collar, 15% damage, 3% bleed skill, heal reduced. Crit and speed for the Leper. I do have a team of level twos ready to go. I can always use more deeds. Protection and dodge. Protection and dodge and stress. begin the live stream with an assault on the wizened hag. Uh, this mask looks fine to me. Um, who will be taking? Mark a target would be nice. She's only level one, though. can mark his own target if he must. The pull won't really do him any good. Yes, yes. With that extra scouting,
So we'll probably take Macy, who I believe is already fitted out with superior arms and armor. Derjardin for that repost, which is so good against bosses because they generally attack multiple people at once. Pass Fourier. Oh, Neville can mark. Clumsy is something we should get rid of. Death blow resistance, pretty good. Neville, Pass Fourier, Durjardin, Macy. I believe that'll work. Hellions really aren't bad, especially Iron Swan. Kind of the, the perfect moment for Iron Swan, but being in the front ranks is tough. Well, we will get into that in the live stream later on today. Remember, um, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard, and uh, we'll start off by assaulting the wizened hag. It's going to be great. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you caught this video in time to catch that live stream, and uh, I will see you then. Uh, but even if you haven't caught the live stream, and it's already done and passed. I want you to remember that before it even happened, I told you it was all downhill from here. <laughs> Bye, guys.